Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. I am Aditya, co-founder of Garchi and today we are going to see how to create a progressive web application using Nuxt.js. So if you haven't followed my previous series on, uh, like I have created a series of Nuxt from start to finish. So this video is just an extension of that. Just I'm adding the PWA module in it. So I'll put the link in the description for the series. So make sure that you watch it. Uh, also, you can create like the PWA from any framework like Vue, React or ne uh, sorry, Next or even uh, uh, like Laravel, Django, any, any framework. It doesn't matter. The concept remains the same. So what concept we are going to use is to, like we will need two files. One is the service worker and other will be the manifest file. So these two files are very important when you create any progressive web application. So today we will be focusing only on Nuxt. Of course, you can do with Vue, but if you ask me for a personal opinion, I would suggest go with the Nuxt because the thing is for Nuxt, you need to worry about, you don't need to worry about the routers. You don't need to worry about the SEOs. You don't need to worry about all those uh, small bits here and there, which Vue might, it may, might make it a bit difficult. So that's the one plus point of Nuxt. And secondly, if you want to stick with Vue, that's fine. That's totally fine. Like, uh, we also have the way to develop a progressive web application and also like you you just need to can then import some packages there's a, I guess there's a view meta package or something like that for putting meta tags so that's not a problem as well uh, so also like if you're using view in some other application like Laravel or some other framework then in that case uh, the PWS steps will be according to that framework but in uh, that that won't uh, like that won't disturb your front end so it's not a problem so let's see now in further in Nux. so if you have seen my previous video in that I created an application with PWA module set to be true or I use the PWA module as like I just checked that in case if you haven't seen that video or if you saw that video but you skipped that step or anything in that case i'll tell you how to do it in your current nuxt application so if you go to pwa nuxt so this is a module which makes sure or which helps you create the pwa files like the service worker and the manifest file uh, in that once you go to the setup so if you have done while creating the next application again if you have checked this box so you don't need to worry about all these stuffs it's already done for you but if you haven't done it then first you if you're using yarn or npm whichever it is you can just install the package once it's installed you need to go to nuxtconfig.js so this is my nuxtconfig.js and here uh, you will see like these are the two lines like I have added my by myself like these two meta and manifest lines. She does two lines, it's a lot of lines. So if you see in the modules, I have put it in the nuxt. So nuxt put it for me in the module. But uh, if you are doing it manually, you can put it in the build modules and you just need to make sure that you're putting service side render server side rendering to be true and you're using nux generate but if you are doing server side rendering false and if you are doing it without nux generate then you have to use as it says put it in the module section so to be on server side nux put it in the module section for us and also it's like if you install this package you already get a defined set of icons which are nothing but if you see in the time I title bar over here, the Nuxt icon, so that's the default icon you get. You can change it to whatever icon you want. I will show you how to do it in a moment. So that's not a problem. Uh, another thing you need to consider is that once you uh, once you have the service worker file, you just need to put it in the git ignore. So here somewhere you'll find a git ignore file. I'll just give me a moment. Uh, yeah here so if you see like all the files are put so these files won't be pushed to the uh, to our github repository when we pushed it so just make sure that service worker is put, put put into that and i guess that's pretty much it so now let's see the icon module 
there, so they're in the manifest file. It's nothing but the key value JSON objects or JSON key value pairs where your uh, icon is one of the key and it has values. So meta is another manifest is a, so manifest module is all the, so this, this is what I'm talking about. So name, lang, these are all key value pairs. So these are all modules, but for icon, there is another module in that manifest file. So how it works is whatever set of icons you give, like the image names, and the size of that images. So if you see the options, these options will show you how to do it in a moment. According to that, Nuxt will create the images for you or it will render those images according to that size or whatever file you give. By default, it targets the static directory, but you can change the source to other directory if you are using somewhere else. So if you're not using static, if you have your custom directory, you, can, you just need to change the source accordingly. So that's all about the icon module. The meta module is, as it says, it's just to add the meta tags in your project. And it's uh, it's just like those, so this char set, viewport, mobile app, and et cetera, et cetera. So this is important. So when you're using, say, uh, for iPhone, generally for iPhone, it kind of, it sometimes kind of like gets a bit uh, tedious or cumbersome with PWA. But if you have this meta tag set correctly, it becomes super simple and smooth. So all those meta tags are done for you through this package but if you want to customize it you can do it through the meta module the manifest refers to the manifest file and i'll show you how the structure in a moment uh, and i guess yeah that's pretty much it so if you are using external libraries you can use the workbox module so um, i guess nothing to worry about anything here because the main type point of concern is icon meta and manifest so once that's done now let's go to our project here uh, if you see in the next config.js so i need to create an icon module because i'll be using the custom icon of my own so i'll just create an here icon like this and this will be an json object of key value pair so if you see something like this and here as i will be having my icon so i already have my icon in the static directory so here static so i'll be using this youtube logo which i made so i'll just uh, use this as my pwi icon so how i will do it i will say file name i don't need to provide the source because by default it will target to the static folder so here i would say you you sorry you uh, if i type it correctly logo dot png so this is the name of my file and uh once that's done uh, i need to provide the sizes array so if you see here so the default sizes is like this so every for every progressive web app you have need to have icons in those proportionate sizes so i'll just copy this array and stick with the default options so if I go here and put size, is it size or size? Let me sizes, sorry. So it's sizes and yeah, that's it. So this is done and I'll be doing, so that's fine. I, you can change the target directory if you want. For me, it's gonna be icons only, so that's not a problem. And okay, so that's everything set for the icon module. Now let's see what to change in meta module. So in the generally if you change it here only in the head tag that's fine but if you want to have the custom one you can always create a meta module over here like this so it's totally up to you but i'll also change the title over here so if we are no more doing a next demo we are doing a weather app so no it's not a full fledged app but it's just a local like testing tested on local host so that's fine so that would be this and uh, let's make a capital now and here so we have the author you can put your name whatever you like so i put my name here aditya once that's done so let's uh, go to our manifest file so before that i'll show you how the structure of manifest looks so if i go to pwa in here i should see so uh, Meta uh, so okay so this is meta file structure there should be a manifest file here we'll just see in a moment uh this should be a tree yeah this one so if you see so the manifest file it looks something like this so it has the name of your app it has the short name of the your app of course this will be this will be built once i save the next config file now so i've already saved it i need to run it vm run build so we'll get to that in a moment and uh, whatever description you pass so 
here like i can say the description so this description goes over there so that's not a problem and this is what i was referring to so this is the set of icons it creates so it creates from the icon that i send it to it so uh, whatever icons are here so these icons are if you see that my icons is custom made like it makes the icon according to that size of the sizes that i give so i just uh, ran it on uh, like just build the project before but i'll build it again to show you how it works so that's why you are seeing all those files beforehand but obviously once you build a project all those files will be generated for you so that's not a problem so pretty this is pretty much it for us to get started so what i will do now i will go here i will stop this uh, dev server because to uh, to make the pwa work you need to first build the files and then start with the uh, production server so i'll just close this and i will say npm run build so it will take a bit of time to build so i'll just skip this part and then we'll continue forward all right so as you could see it has built the files for us like it has done everything for us so now what we need to do is we just need to say npm run uh, start so this will start the production server locally <laughs> yeah so as you can see like its environment is production and its server side rendered so now all we need to do is visit this local host url so i'll go in my browser and it's in my weather app so i'll just refresh this quickly i have also changed the styling a bit so that it's more good looking on the mobile app so i'll just show you how it works and now if i go to uh, console so in the console application and here you will see that manifest and server service workers so once if it's registered successfully you should see something like this and in the manifest file json file if you see you will see something like this so this is very very important like these two files are like the main files of your progressive web app so I'm talking a lot about this, but I'm not sure if I explained the PWA before. So I'll just give you a quick, quick glimpse of it. So what PWA is, is so, you know, like when you go to a mobile uh, like app store or the play store on your mobile devices, you download apps from there. So those are all your native apps in the same way, web apps can be run as a native apps. And those are known as hybrid apps or progressive web apps. So how it works is. Uh, for PWAs, when you visit that URL, suppose if I have this URL, say uh, adityaweather.com, like a fancy URL like this, and if someone visits that URL on their mobile, they can add that URL as a bookmark and put it on the text on their home screen. And once they touch that icon of my uh, of my website, that website instead of opening in the Safari or somewhere else if they are on iPhone, it will open on a full screen mode like a native app the beauty of pwa is it works offline as well so we will see how it works in a moment and we will also see how i can put it on my mobile device so currently we'll see how it works on our desktop device so if you go on your url you should see an icon like this so or you should see something where like it says install so i have previously already installed so it's not there but if it's not if you cannot see an icon here and just in on your chrome just press it on that three dots you'll see an install button or option so if i click here now it's asking me to open so if i open it so you see that this is the pwa so this is responsive actually so if i just make it bigger it's like this on the desktop so now uh, if i just close this and if i go to my desktop so oh, over here sorry let me open my desktop so here so this is because i was i tested it before and it cached my previous icon but of course when you clear the cache and everything this icon should go off so you should see your like uh, your own icon also make sure that it's sized properly to make it appear here uh, so if i open this now so it opens my application so now i can operate my application from here and you could see like it works exactly how it works on the browser but if you notice one thing instead of opening in the chrome it's opening as a native desktop application so now let's see how it works on the mobile i'll quickly connect my phone and i'll just skip the test uh, step of connection all right so i'm so this is how i am forecasting my screen my iphone screen on the 
desktop. So I'm using app power mirror and it's a free version. That's why you're seeing the timer. I'm using ngrok to uh, expose my URL global, uh, globally, which is a local URL. So let's go how to add it on home screen. If I go here and go to add to home screen page. So over here at the bottom, if you see, if I touch or tap on that, and then the icon changes to the icon that I have custom, uh, I have made it as a custom icon. If I add now and go, you will see that I will have this logo over here. Now, if I just uh, open this, so you could see now this is opened as a full screen mode application. So now if I just go here, say Paris, get data, it will show me the data of Paris. So that's how our app work in a progressive web app mode. So like uh, I can also select the other cities and get data and it shows me the data of Paris. So that's all about the PWAs in Nuxt and uh, also you, the concept, as I said, it remains the same in all frameworks. Hope you like this video and if you have any questions or if you find something confusing, just put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer all your uh, doubts. Uh, if you like this video, press the thumbs up button and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. So till the next video, goodbye.